everybody. This is Palace of Forest. I'm Old Joe. Today we are going to talk a very hot subject: Texas and Mexico. Time flies. I have been in this country for 57 years, more than I was in China. If you ask me how much I understand USA, I would say、hmm, about 20 percent. Living in California, I have a contact majority Chinese overseas, American whites, and the third group is Mexican. Mexico is a neighbor country. They do not have a, a very high status in the U.S. society, but they work very hard. They engaged in lower level works in the U.S.、Uh, they work hard and they have their own religion, Catholic. And language Spanish, they have been in their own group, they have their own social status. The differences between Mexican and Oriental immigrants are the Mexican would earn enough money and then they want to return home to retire. Mexico is about twenty percent of U.S. territory, and the population is one point two eight billion. In 2023, the GDP per capita is thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Not too bad. Let's look at the history in general. We can separate Mexico history into two periods of time. One is pre-Columbus era. One is after Columbus era, from Spanish rule to now. After Columbus era, majorly are dealing with Europe USA invasions. And crush down natives. There are many big or small wars between nineteen centuries. Maybe this is one of the reasons why Mexico does not develop well. We can list the major conflicts in nineteen to twenty centuries. Number one is Mexico independence between eighteen twenty one to eighteen thirty six against Spain. Eighteen thirty-six, Spain recognized Mexico's independence. Number two is fighting against natives. Majority is Comanche, Kiowa, Apache, Yaqui, and so on and so forth. Between eighteen twenty-one to nineteen thirty-three, over a hundred years, there were constant fighting. Sometimes Spain, USA, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador to join the fights. Number three. Is eighteen twenty three because European country majorly English friends joined the fight against Mexico. So USA create the Monroe Doctrine, USA and South America to be Americans' spheres of influence. Number four is eighteen thirty five eighteen thirty six Texas independence, and eighteen forty six to eighteen forty eight. U.S. fought against Mexico. There's a very important treaty, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. It's、um, 1848, February signed. According to Mexico, they lost almost 55 percent of their territory to USA. But there is an explanation. Some say those territories, some of them are not really under Mexico's control or have government, so to speak, to rule. So. If U.S. occupied them, the major enemy probably is Native Indians, and it's not Mexico. But this is one theory. So there are about nine states involved in this treaty, and then all took over by U.S.A. California, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, most of Arizona and Colorado, and the part of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Wyoming. Wow, fifty-five percent of Mexico territories. So, a famous Mexican saying: "We are too far away from heaven, too close to the USA." At twentieth century, Mexico is quiet on political stage. Even when the communist was in a high peak, but does not really affect Mexico too much. Until twenty twenty, July first. NAFTA signed, which is、uh, USA, Canada, and Mexico signed agreement to have a trade without the duties and many benefit to one another. So many 
big U.S. company like automakers move to Mexico and they cause a lot of prosperous in Mexico. But social problems still there. Number one is drug. Drug is uh, the bigger problem because uh, the fentanyl is major problem right now. And 75% of fentanyl to the U.S. is from Mexico. Although they say the original ingredients is from China, but this is just a theory. And the cartel of drugs, very strong, and they almost for a while control the government of Mexico. So I visited Mexico last year. My client invited me to a very nice restaurant. And he said, well, watch out, where do you want to hide? I said, hide? I haven't even started eating yet. He said, well, last week, a drug cartel was here, gunned down some other dealers. All the customers were hiding under the table. So you should know which table you want to hide. I almost lost all my appetite. Number two, the problem is illegal immigrants, not only from Mexico, also from all other Central South America. They are using Mexico as the final jumping post. Number three is border war. And the Trump start building a wall as China Great War did not finish in the southern states. And now the Texas is start to build a wall with blades. The federal court ruled that the war with blades are not constitutional. Federal government dispatched some personnel to take them off. Texas would fight against any intervention. The Legion said that Texas can legally secede from the USA. This is a popular myth, M-Y-T-H, myth. It is not true. After civil war established that a state, any state cannot secede. Although Texas has their own weapons and also their own economy very good, very strong oil and uh, uh, internet, but Texas cannot succeed without the legal procedures. Now we have to go back to Civil War to see what President Lincoln's idea. The final negotiation with the Southern states was Lincoln would tolerate slaves in the South without secession. It was rejected by the South then the war burst out. So free the slaves was not the only reason of civil war. According to President Lincoln, a unifying USA is more important than anything else. Civil war sacrificed 620,000 lives. So their sacrifice should not be ignored. So United States should be united. This is my personal idea respect by the offsprings. Thank you, and I hope to see you again.